Hey guys, it's Julian. I want to show you uh, how to import drawings that have already been scanned into Harmony and how you can use them in the same way and import them in the same way uh, that you do any normal file. So we are in Harmony. I have it loaded up on a blank scene. We go File, Import, and you have the two main commands are from Scanner. A lot of people have scanners, right? Um, and from images. Now, images is actually a little simpler because you don't have to deal with another device. And it does do the same thing. Um, what you do is you go things. So say you have, like, um, like I have these files, these uh, master files that have been scanned and registered. This is the Norman take. And we go boom. Select all those. We just hit OK. Create some, create, uh, Create layer, create nail based on file names. That'll separate them out. Um, add to existing layer. I like this one as the default. Create layers. Um, and then we have a couple different import options. See, So we have the first one, keep as bitmap. Um, this may be you're using, you're importing uh, a background image, right? You're importing um, something you know you're going to be, like really rough animation. You know you are cleaning it up or making puppets or doing something that's clean up in Harmony. You could use the original bitmaps. Um, if you want it to slightly uh, scale, have the file size of the bitmap not be so bit bad, big, <laughs> big, then use the Toon Boom bitmap drawing. Typically, for almost everything, for file sizes and everything and scalability, you want to use convert to Toon Boom vector drawing. Now we have two features on this, two types of vectorization. You can custom your own one, but the basic defaults are good. There's gray and black and white. Black and white is exactly what it says. It will look for absolute black and absolute white. Anything that's close, it will make absolute black. It won't make it gray. Gray is a little more versatile. It'll keep a lot of the uh, original information. If you want to check that, it's much easier in this part of the import stage right here, this little pencil drawing, you click that, and you open up the vectorization parameters window. And so here, I'm gonna put that over here. You can scale it up here in the center. You can press spacebar and move it, and when you click, it'll move. You can kind of zoom in on that, hit vectorize, and it looks pretty good. Now, as long as this is hit, you hit okay, uh, there's other things, like oh, I won't get into that right now, and we hit OK. Now, most of the biggest thing is you're going to see, we're going to hit OK, it's going to vectorize, dunk, 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 and we got it. Now, what's cool about this is this is an actual, I'm going to move the layer up here and show you the gray is grayed out, right? Oops, that's, I probably need a color, right? I'll just show you in red, and then, yeah, let's see. Oops, <laughs> wrong drawing. <laughs> right? So it is an alpha. Anytime you see the gray, the gray will export as an alpha. So this is exactly what you want to see. Um, there are the easiest way to, you know, go with this. So if say you, they say this is all you want to do, you are ready to um, export your movie, right? Say this is your perfect animation. Say you've timed it out. Uh, how do we time this out? We go... Let me hit this and we hit plus. Where is it? Oh, we gotta highlight the layer. Plus, plus, plus. Plus, plus, plus. Plus, plus. Plus, plus, plus. Plus, plus, plus. Plus. Right? And we have this take. No in betweens. These are just the keys. Right? So we go file, export, movie. Now, I have it, you can do, I'm on a Mac, so it'll default to QuickTime. Uh, I try, I like H.264, it's more, um, it's more economical as a, as a file format, and it opens just as fine in, in a QuickTime player without any, without any real um, hitches. If you too, do choose QuickTime Movie, you will see the movie options, and Apple ProRes is, exactly what it says it's pro resolution this is like totally uncompressed this is like final output type of stuff 
H.264, again, is thing. By default, it won't do sound. You can tell it to do alpha channel. I believe that has to be ProRes. Yeah, see, the ProRes will export alphas. So this would be how you would export something into um, After Effects, but I'll get into that at another time, I'm sure. So I'm just going to hit Cancel on that. I'm going to do H.264 because I like that. I'm going to hit Browse because you got to tell it where to browse it. I'm going to put it into the Norman Take Movie. I'm going to call it Norman Take 1 Keys. I don't know. And then hit Save. Boom, Norman Take 1 Keys. You go all. Um, remember, let's see, I'm looking at this right now, and it's not, six, not 60 frames. It's not 30 frames. It's 20 frames. So I'm going to change that to 20. And then I'm going to hit OK. And boom, you see that? Made a movie. Um, now we're going to go here and click that. And oh my god, it didn't make a movie. It's black. Actually, it is there. What it did is when you export like this, oops, uh, when you export like this with, without anything behind it, the gray is considered an alpha. And the alphas play as a black background on most players by default. Uh, you would see it if you import it, in it into After Effects, but I'll save that for another time. Um, so how to fix that is actually very easy. Uh, the best way to do it, quickest way, is you insert a color card. So right here in the Layers window, you go click the plus, color card. This is how you know you have a color card up. Now we go File, Export, Movie, Normally take one, the movie it's kept the same information. We hit OK. We do want to overwrite that. I don't like having multiples unless they're different. Um, let me go back to the finder now, and now we have normally take one move. There we go. We're good to go. Why is it called the movie? I think it's just because I think it's default for uh, um, um, Max. That, is, that it does that. Let me see here. Ah, it is H.264, but on a Mac it'll still register as a movie. On a PC this this might look slightly different. I'll be working on getting an export um, movie tutorial up a little bit later for both PC and Mac if I can manage to find a PC um, version available. So yeah, so that's it. Um, there's only one other thing if you have the extra time I want to show you. There's something about the way I told you how the, the vectorization, right? I like the gray in this case. It gets all the kind of grimy details you might want if you were having a, a quote-unquote rough animation look. Um, but let me show you what, why, why I got you, because obviously a cleanup is a cleanup, and that's how you want to do, why you want to do black and white. But the difference between the black and white registration and the grayscale registration, I meant vectorization. Convert to vectorization, we hit OK. Boom, it does it. We're good, it takes it to the bottom for some reason. And so we got, so this does still look good in um, black and white mode. It doesn't look that, that bad. Um, it sharpens it up pretty good, but sometimes you might want to have the difference. So I just want to show you the differences. Um, in in this case, it's it's really up to you guys uh, what you want to do with with this. Um, some drawings that are rough aren't cleaned up enough. See, it's both layers behind it. That's pretty cool. See, so this is an alpha. The top layer is an alpha, and because they're off time, that's pretty cool actually. Um, because they're off time, you can see the differences. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're vectorizing, but it will automatically, as long as you have this, this, convert to tune, to tune Boom Vector Drawing, which should be default. If you have either one of these two, the, the white will not drop and become automatically become an alpha. All right, so I hope this helps. Have a great day.